are here welcome to teaching you my cooking skills it's a long time since i haven't really do a cooking video but today i feel to wake up this morning and make some breakfast yes i've done that in a while so here i'm making some curry coconut fritters and right here i have curry powder um coconut powder salt fish um sachets um flour come around and show them what i have please um onion skeleton and thyme oil black pepper and this is all i'm going to be using into my fritters so first thing first we're going to wash our skeleton and thyme and stuff like this you're going to wash these mm -hmm. You gotta make sure so you wash them things, right? I'm gonna put it on the board just for sure, you no? Know? So Auntie Dana gonna wash all of these. Yeah, wash them off. Clean. Fresh time. And fill and separate them. Wash. Remember guys, you must always wash your things then before you cook them. Every, every vegetable must wash. I use somebody from one time to add it on By the cut of color, you must straighten out the pot and cook it. No, you must wash your vegetables. Yes. Wash them thoroughly. Especially on the skelly and on the notice. They might be something right in here, so, so um, all of the things that will go in here. Alrighty, so let me just turn off the piece of hand towel and come right back. Anyway, Auntie Dana loves to clean as she go along when she's cooking. So that's in the garbage. Let me dry up. No pay me no mind blanca people. It's just a habit. I like to work and clean up as we go along. So I'm going to wash these um, in the skin. I'm going go on the shell. So I'm going to cut up these. And because it's a video, um, is not live where I can just go on, go on, go on, go on. I don't want the video to, um, to have part one and part two. So I'm going to clean these up, peel these off, and cut them up, and come right back for you guys to see the next step of the process, all right? Well, guys, um, the onions, um, I hate cutting onions with my iron. And you can guys these in any size you want them. So I'm... I'm going to do them very small. I just run the knife through it. Couldn't use that knife because it's not sharp enough like this. Yes, so you don't. Anyhow, you want to cut them, whether you want to cut them big, whether you want to cut them small, it's, it's fine. Um, on the size that you want to dice your onions in. So, this is what Auntie Dawn is doing. And I'm going to dice them over. Um, when, uh, so when I come back, you guys will see all the diced onion and stuff. So remember now guys, you dice up your, I don't want this part to make that the in the garbage. So remember now guys, you dice up your skeleton, um, and your onions. So pepper now, I like to cook with pepper. I like to have pepper in my food, especially flitters. So I'm not going to use a lot because these peppers are very hot. They're hot like a fire. So remember, I've cooked, I'm making a jash, but he's a bit used to pepper. Pepper don't really bother him. I find small, I've been cooking with pepper. So I'm dicing these up small. Um, should I use a bigger knife? The cutting knife. Thanks to the lady that gave me this cooking board that Mark teaching you my cooking skill. I so love it. And this is the time. Um, I only need 
a, a fraction of it, like the leafy part. Yes, I just need some small part with a little stick in it. Some people pick off the leaves. You can if you want, but this, the um, I use the small parts and I just take out. When I do it like this, I just take out the the, the big sticks from it. You know, you can cut up these. Just take out the tall parts, the, 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 and use mainly the leaves. So for this year, you're supposed to take out the sticks. But I use the edge of it, it don't have a lot of sticks in it. Cause we don't want that in it. Because whenever you're eating it, you're going to have to stop to take them out. So, but because I'm doing a video, I have to show you shorthand. So I'm going to pick through this. See it right here? And that is the reason why I cut it off from the edge. So if you notice, all the stick sticks is down at the bottom. So I'm taking out these little sticks from it and dice them up. Yep. Yes, I'm, I'm going to pick them out. We're trying, but we are trying to pick out almost all of them. If not, you can have some little pieces leave back in there. But it all goes down to what you prefer, your taste buds and what you like. But if you are doing this to sell, you would not want to put the sticks in there. Or you wouldn't want people be buying a fritter and they be biting on sticks, all right? So you would pick out all the leaves off it. You would just hold it and do it like this. I would have done that but because I'm doing a video. It takes time. Over here now is my flour. So I'm going to add all the dry ingredients into the bowl. This is the curry powder, yes. Um, I, always, I like to try things different from everybody. I, I like to do things anti than away. So I always sit down and say, all right, body mix it as I want to bring a little different zest to it. So I'm putting in the curry powder and the coconut powder. And this is the brand that I have here today. Great. And you can use any brand that you have. Remember all coconut powder similar are similar in flavor. And I'm just gonna add it in there, yeah. This is gonna give you your fritter a nice flavor. I, I'm just adding all it. I'm only using black pepper. I won't be using any salt at all for this because remember that the um the salt fish has in salt. So I'm gonna set this right here. Um, let me get a spoon. I'm gonna need to take out a spoon. Yes. So, with that done, we're gonna add mix all dry ingredients together. So you're gonna mix in the coconut milk, the curry, and the black pepper. And remember, for this salt, it's optional. So if you don't want to use any salt, you don't have to. Remember, we have the salt fish. Right here is the salt fish. Um, oh, I need to take out this out the sink. Let me just rest this here and clean up the sink. Alrighty. Yes, they must always work and clean up your station. Whether you're cooking in a restaurant, at the house, always work and clean up the area that you are working in. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we come right here with you go. You know, accidentally, oh, this is live video. They always work and clean up the area that you are working. All right, so come right back here. So this is some saltfish right here. And I put this in the water to soak. To soak out the salt, I did not boil it. So I'm gonna separate it from the skin. Yes, like this. And when I come back, you'll see how oh, I separate it. I'm going to show you what Auntie does. Yes. So guys, the salt fish have done wash it and get them to small pieces. As you guys can see, I'm going to rest it down right here. And we're going to cut up our sachets, remember? Yes, and these were in the fridge. So these are cold. So we're not going to, uh, <coughs> sorry boil them we're just gonna cut them up all right so, so when we're cutting up these we're gonna just 
you run the knife, you can just run the knife so it to get them a bit small. But they are supposed to be shown in the fritter. So there it is, we're going to cut them up. This is all the dry ingredients that Auntie Dana. I'm just going to add a little water to it to kind of mold it in together to make sure everything. You don't want to add the, the other ingredients in it and the flour and the coconut and stuff is not molded in. So you're going to do like this and add, mix them in. Right, Blankers? Alright, so I'm going to now put in the, these in the, the onions, the thyme, a piece of stick here. Yes, we want to try and get rid of all of that. So we're going to add this in. Yes, and we're going to combine them together in there. And remember, sachets is not a must. You don't must put the sachets in your fritter. So let's pause and let's add it on a Mixing in all that I just put in, as you can see, this is a bit thick. So you know, I'm going to add a little water, right? Yes, combine again. You don't want it to be too thin. See another piece of thyme stick right here. So we'll just remove that. Um, but remember guys, I'm not making this to sell or anybody. So I would have taken off the thyme leaves. Look how creamy and rich and pretty this is. Yes. And I'm going to give it a little bit more water. Um, just a small amount. And you put the amount of water to the amount of people that you are catering for. And remember guys, this fritter has no salt in it. What I'm using for the salt is the substitute is the salt fish um, that I pick up. Yes. And gonna add in the sachets, Joshua like sachets. So that is the reason why I put it in there. You don't have to put any form of um, these salt fish are fritter in there but this is my method and as you can see it's ready to fry wow Auntie Dana making a stew right here anyway that's easy to get rid of with us clean along as we go we're just gonna mix this in and you can see the creamy paste that this has look at it guys and we're gonna fry our fritter so we're gonna go over to the stove now I put on the, the pot on the fire and just gonna add a little oil. This is some natural coconut oil. Just gonna mix it with um this is the natural coconut oil that was made. Um and I'm gonna add and it smells so good. I'm gonna add some of the, the, the vegetable oil to it. And you can use olive oil for it if you want. So you're not gonna put too much oil, you're gonna allow that to hot. And then we come right back so guys as you can see the oil is hot and my fritter is here and i'm just gonna you could use a smaller spoon depends i don't like them when they're big and odious so i'm just gonna put them in the hot oil like this small and nice i like them when they are very small so this is auntie donna coconut curry fritter and guys there is no limit in your kitchen as to what you can do when you are cooking all right so you'll see them bring it down on the pot let them see how they look beautiful and the reason why it is foaming like this because it's real coconut oil all right planka people so you'll see these when they are finished frying guys these have been frying and i'm just gonna turn them over so you guys can see what they looks like and remember if you're worried about the curry remember that the curry um burn when you put it in the pot Yes, oh, this smells so good. The, the aroma of this is so nice. So, turning them over. Yes. Auntie Donna. Coconut fritter. With curry. Curry coconut fritter. And you can add anything that you want. Look how beautiful these are. So, I'm going to let them fry on this side. And then you'll see when I take them out. Oh, I forgot. My fritters are ready to take out the pot. And I'm just going to place them on the hand towel for them. To drain out the excess oil, mama. Look at them, them smells. Guys, you want to smell them here? You want to smell the real coconut oil in these? Look at them. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna come and zoom over on the fritters. Look how beautiful Auntie Donna fritters are. Dada.
ready for your mouth alrighty <laughs> and there you have it auntie donna teaches you how to make her coconut curry fritters <laughs>